And now, Fast Track's Tommy Barrett with your sports update. Tommy Barrett here, and welcome to sports. As I mentioned last week, baseball season is upon us, and the Purdue Boilermakers started their season by headed to the Lone Star State to take on the Bobcats of Texas State. The Mark Wazikowski era began with a four-game series split with the Bobcats in a series that produced 75 total runs. The Boilermakers take on another Sun Belt Conference team next weekend as they travel to Little Rock for a three-game series. It will be the first time Purdue has been to Arkansas since March of 1967. Friday series opener starting at 4 o'clock. Now to wrestling. Purdue Wrestling came up with a big upset victory this weekend going to number 17 South Dakota State and winning in a close one 20-19. Ultimately it was the redshirt sophomore Ben Turner's pin at the 125 class that broke the stalemate and gave the Boilermakers their first ranked victory since upending number 20 Indiana in February last year. The Boilermakers finished their dual meet season with a 9-7 record and will be in Bloomington for the Big Ten Championships March 3rd and 4th. Now, let's go to Mackey Arena where both basketball teams were in action this weekend and we'll start with the men's team taking on Michigan State. The 16th ranked Boilermakers were looking for the season sweep against the Spartans on Saturday and it was the Biggie Swanigan show as he knocks down that three and the beautiful jump hook in the lane. He finished with 24-15 and 15 for his country leading 23rd double-double. Vince Edwards in the second half. 50th player in Purdue history to get 1,000 points. One more time, Swan again to Haas. And Matthias is going to cap off the Purdue boy, the maker victory with a score of 80 to 63. Here's what Painter had to say. No, I, I talked to them before, other, uh, other day before the um, Wisconsin Michigan game and just said, hey, if we just take care of our business, things will, you know, everything will be fine. I said, there's no, there's no reason to talk about you know, a race or where you stand when your focus should be on the personnel of your next game. You know, how are we going to play the next game? A lot of times when you get in these situations, it's the distractions. You know, something happens or, you know, someone gets injured. Some things happen to go against you that you can't control. Um, then you can't control those things. Women's basketball was also in action on Sunday as the Boilermakers took on the Iowa Hawkeyes as Purdue po po hosted their annual Pink Zone game in support of the Community Cancer Network of Greater Lafayette. We will pick this one up in the second half as the Boilermakers were, tra were trailing by 10 to start the second half, and it was a tale of two halves. The Boilermakers outscored the Hawkeyes 47-17 in the second half. After 16 first-half turnovers, the Boilermakers cut that down to three, and the star of the game, once again, Ariana Harris, 14 points and added nine rebounds, which resulted in a Big Ten Freshman of the Week honor for Harris. Boilermakers would go on to win 72-52, improving to 17-11, overall, 8-6 and six in Big Ten play, and they move into a tie for fifth place in the conference standings. Now, let's go to the association. Big news came in late, late last night as the NBA All-Star Game as Sacramento Kings center DeMarcus Cousins was traded to the New Orleans Pelicans in exchange for two draft picks and Buddy Heald. The move allows Cousins to link up with fellow University of Kentucky star in the front court Anthony Davis, who also had a pretty good Sunday night as he earned the 2017 NBA All-Star MVP, pouring in a new record of 52 points. Now to the pool. Steele Johnson wasn't the only Purdue boy in the maker with Olympic aspirations here at Purdue. Junior swimmer Kirsten Mites sat down with Fast Track Sports to talk about the Olympic trials and much more. Well, uh, swimming at Olympic trials, that was one of the most exciting meets I've ever been in. I remember racing my first race there, the 400 freestyle, and I had never had so much fun racing before. Um, it's just set up in this big arena, and it was just super cool because I had touched first in my heat, so my face was up on the jumbo screen, so that was something really cool. She might not have made it to Rio, but Mites did win a Big Ten medal in the 500 freestyle. I looked up into the stands and I uh, looked up to see my team and I was like, I'm just going to do it for them and I think that's what got me through and then when I saw the three by my name, that's what was probably the most special to me, knowing that I had scored more points for the team. Just being able to get that Big Ten medal was just a dream come true. <laughs> Mites has a reputation for speed inside the pool, but outside the pool, she has a reputation for a different kind of speed in a Wisconsin ice cream parlor. 
I have been asked this so many times. So first off, is it true? Yes. It is true that you can do it? Yes, so I'll give you a little backstory. There's this okay. ice cream parlor uh, back in East Troy, Wisconsin, and me and my dad are huge sweet tooths, and um, I don't really know how it came about, but he's like, I want to see you eat 10 scoops of ice cream in under 20 minutes, and if you do, I'm going to buy you a new practice suit for swimming. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and so we go to the ice cream parlor. I think I had like a turtle sundae with 10 scoops or whatever it was, and finished it in 14 minutes. It was no problem. I probably could have gone faster if I didn't get a brain freeze, so... Connor Hoke, Fast Track Sports. And welcome back, Dakota. Matt Painter currently second in the Infinity Coaches Challenge. I'm glad to see a lot of Big Ten coaches on the top of that list. When we come back, we'll take a look at a musical taking place at Powell Hall. Stay with us. 